everyone, welcome back to the BVTV Gaming Channel. We are here with another UFC 5 Universe Mode episode. We're going to be doing Fight Night 74 headlined by ranking number 10 John Jones at 11 11 as he takes on the debuting Sergey Spivak. And then co main events in that will be in the welterweight division as Joff Neal makes his debut against former welterweight champion and rank number 9, the 2 and 2 Shafkat Rachmanov. Um, I'm looking forward to those two fights right there, but of course we're kicking things off in the women's flyweight division as we'll see Tracy Cortez, who's 0-0 in the, in the black trunks, take on the debuting as well, Nick Guido, who's 0-0. Oh, oh, what? What happened? What? I turned away for a second. What did I miss? Got a massive knockout victory. Oh, oh my god, she broke her face. Goodness heavens, Nikki Guida making a debut here tonight. That is how we kick off this show. That is huge. Congrats to Nikki Guida. She's now 1 and 0 in the UFC. Puts uh, Tra I didn't get her name. Tracy Cortez to, to 0 and 1 in what? A minute and 8 seconds. Holy hell. Well, that's just if, that, if that's a, a, an indicator of what we're into in, in for tonight, I think this is going to be a freaking night of action. All right, next I gotta I gotta do the the uh, okay, you know I, I'm wow. Anyway, folks, this next fight is going to be in the women's strawweight division, as in the green trunks. The debuting Marina Rodriguez takes on in the blue trunks the five and seven Ticia Torres. And as you guys know, I do get quiet at certain times of the, of this uh, of this video just because I do update the records and rankings. Uh, oh. Rodriguez got to be careful. This is not the type of uh, attack you want to have. Oh. So we got to update this here. So these fighters are just going ham right now. They're just trying to be as aggressive as humanly possible. I mean, that's really not the strategy I would go for, at least in, in my opinion, from what we've seen. Never uh, the brightest thing to do. But hey, at least this fight has lasted longer than the old. She needs to do something. She's getting absolutely whooped right now. Just over three minutes to go. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Yeah, that one was a nasty shot too. I am updated. All right, perfect. I'm back in action. Oh, oh, Ticia Torres. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Side leg kick lands immediately a mark on her opponent. Oh, nice jab. She's got a hell of a jab. That was a nice shot to the body. But here's the thing, though. These two have been going nonstop for almost five minutes. I know their their chin's got to be hurting. Very fast hand. Oh, that was a nice head kick. She got a rock. Ticia Torres trying to slay the giant. Oh, she hit with the hook. This, this is a great fight. I mean, both these fighters are legitimately just... Man, oh, she blocked. I thought, I thought she dropped the guard. Was that? Ooh, that was a nice little forearm. Should I go for a takedown? I think, I think that was the first takedown of the night. Um, literally, this fight was just a slugout brawl for almost four straight, well, probably four plus minutes. Every punch is 
Yeah, we go on to round number two of what has been an absolute war between TC Torres and Marina Rodriguez. Touches gloves, okay. Oh, that that kick, that uh, kick was checked. Oh, the Superman punch. Oh, she just elbowed her in the face. You know, I'm actually surprised that this fight has gone to the ground. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, even though both these fighters are actually really good wrestlers, I was I wasn't really thinking that they were going to do it because they just went to war. Like this was Sparta for four straight minutes, and the, what probably happened is they probably tired. Oh, they probably got tired out. And for, for Tisa Torres, all she's got to do is just, um... And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed... Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Tisia Torres slays the giant here tonight. Another win for her. She's on her road back to 500. Congrats to Tisia Torres. She spoils the debut of Marina Rodriguez. Tisia Torres is now six and seven in the UFC. She puts Marina Rodriguez to O and one. What is this horrible music? What club music is this? This game has some really just awkward freaking music. But next up, folks, we are going to be going to the men's flyweight division. Sorry. Wait. Yes. Sorry. There's a bunch of new fighters. I'm trying to get get them all in here. Anyway, folks, Muhammad M Makayev, I believe that's how you say his name. He's been in the yellow trunks. He's making his debut. But so is his opponent, Pete Dalloway, who's going to be in the white trunks. Both fighters making their debut here tonight. See, both fighters pretty cautious right now. Oh, that was a nice calf kick. Well, they're both kind of kicking the calf. Both these guys are kickboxing. We know Dollar is a kickboxing background. Makhev, I'm not too familiar. Oh. That was a nice takedown. Okay, this is, like I said, I'm kind of more so interested. I don't really know what to expect from Makayev, and I, even though I watch the UFC a lot, I just don't think I've really caught this guy's fight, so I really can't tell you on what to actually expect in this fight. I mean, realistically speaking, that this uh, this is a bit of a new thing for me, so I'm kind of trying to really analyze this game plan. Uh, we do know Dalway is not good on the grounds. So this may be Makayev strong, so, well, well, let's not say that he gets into, he, get, he gets the upper hand, so I don't know about that one. <laughs> 
So Makev though looks like he's got a pretty decent wrestling background. He's very confident in his hands. Although both these guys prefer a kickboxing match more than anything. Oh, that was a nice uppercut. That was a nice uppercut. Damn, damn. Oh. oh, he might be done. He might be done. Honestly, like looking back, I said I haven't really said much about this fight just because um, uh, out of all the fights we've had, this is kind of one of the least interesting ones so far. And I hate to say it like that, but that's the truth. I mean, it just hasn't been as eventful. Oh, oh I take back my comment. Maybe, maybe we're getting somewhere. Uh, see, it just... Oh, like so far, so far, I would have to say I would like to think that TC Torres and Marina Rod Rod uh, Rodriguez most definitely have earned um, fight of the night. So far, this is only the third fight, but you know there's potential here for them because that I don't, that that pace that they kept up with and continued to do was absolutely phenomenal. So uh, you know they're definitely gonna hopefully get some bonus tonight. Oh, 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 he might be finished. Oh, no, he's he might be able to hang in there. He may be able to hang. It's over. It's over. Stop the fight. Pete Dalloway, victorious in his debut here tonight. A knockout in round number two. Well, folks, I mean, goodness gracious. Pete Dalloway, 1-0. Um, Muhammad Ma Makaev, I, I don't know why I struggle saying that name, is going to be 0-1 in the UFC. My, oh my. That, that was actually a pretty good fight. I, I will, um, the second round was good. The first round, not so much. But the second round was pretty, was pretty decent. What is the music? Who said who who picked the music for this game? Ready to fight? Ready. Anyway, next up is gonna be in the men's bantam weight division. That is right. Yumar Nurmagomedov makes his debut as he takes on the six and seven. Rafael Asunso. Asunso in the yellow trunks. Yumar Nurmagomedov in the red trunks. Can Nurmagomedov defeat Rafael Asunso? here tonight i gotta update the record for that last fight. oh oh my lord rafael's gonna do something here. he's getting absolutely smothered oh jesus he, oh good lord He's got to do something. He's just eating these shots. Big shot lands. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Oh, and there it is, just as predicted. Another hook is thrown and it lands. 
just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Another one. Damn. 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 This is, what do you mean the kill shot? I mean, Nurmagomedov is absolutely just steamrolled. Uh, Rafael Asuncao, oh, Jesus. He took that like a champ. What I like that, that, that Umar is doing, he's using that lead arm there, you know, the arm that's, that's spread out most. And what he's doing, the, that deflection, he's using his hand to eat some of the, the, the hits. So he's not really taking any damage, it's really smart. In this fight so far, I will say that for the most part, I was just I was just fixing up the updating there. I'm also handling something at the moment too. But I will say though, this is definitely Umar's round. There's no way anyone can deny that. I'm saying ten. <sighs> the problem is, you know, Asuncio just hasn't done anything of note, but he has, you know, at least fought back and he's throwing. He's landed a couple shots. So, I mean, I you I can I can see why people would say ten nine. But he didn't do much, so I. Oh God, he got super punched. But I. Oh, he's very lucky that kick didn't land. He would have been on Dream Street for real. But I, I would have to say 10-8 for me, Umar. There's just no way you can look at that this fight and go, hmm. Um. Yeah, Rafael Sunsaw, you know, kept up with him. It's just not even close. It's not even close. Oh, we got very lucky that head kick didn't land. If he doesn't dodge that, he's out, and he's in. He's on Dream Street. And now he lands a combination. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely, you gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Sunsau's blocking well now. You see the fighter oh. raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Well, I'm not sure if it's the fatigue, fear. Oh, 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 my lord. I don't know how he got up. That little key just completely just folded. I said, I'm just very surprised that Rafael has hung in there as, as long as he has. I mean, you're... Oh, I was going to need the chest, but realistically, Rafael Sunset was taking a beating in this fight. That was a nice shot. Oh, oh! He uppercutted him on the way down! Good lord, he was already knocked out and then he uppercutted him. Oh, oh my, look at all the blood. Jesus lord. He may have killed him. Yumar Nurmagomedov may have just killed Rafael Asuncao in this fight. Holy hell. No, no, we don't need to see. We, we, we already know. We already know. Yeah, Yumar Nurmagomedov makes a definitive statement in his main event here tonight i mean folks it gets no i, I mean like on, on a serious note how how like the damage the damage goodness gracious next up folks we're going to the feather wait dang they really just do that many fights back to back like that in the same division there's no way Wow, I really did. What was I thinking? That's not the way I do my fights cards at all. I knew this is a weird fight card, and kind of fi I figured just figured out why. But anyway, like I was saying, folks, you might know Mark Mad one and zero, Rafael Sunso one and eight. But this next fight, 
We are going to go to the middleweight division. Oh, wait, no. Why, why am I so confused with my own self, guys? I apologize. <laughs> no, we're going to the, middle, the middleweight division as we're going to see the debuting Brandon Allen take on the 0-1 Joe Pfeiffer. And that is happening right here, right now. And we are just updating that. I expect this fight to primarily be on the ground, I'm not going to lie to you. Both of these fighters, for the most part, are... Yeah, I, Joe Pfeiffer, this would be kind of embarrassing for Joe Pfeiffer. I, I'm not going to lie to you folks. Um, for one, Joe Pfeiffer, more so a ground guy anyway, is getting outdone here by Brandon Allen. And it's very clear to see Brandon Allen for a good portion was, was had Joe Pfeiffer's number in this fight, at least so far in the first round. But if I'm, if I'm Joe Pfeiffer, I don't think I want to go back to the stand-up. But at the same time, who's getting his behind whooped on the ground too? That was a weird elbow. It looked like he was going for like a downward elbow. I'm not really sure what um, happened there. That's what I'm saying. See, Brandon Allen is just kind of just doing it. He's doing his thing. And yeah, she said, oh, well, Joe Pfeiffer's, you know, at least trying to counter stuff. Like, yes, he is, but what has he done? Unless he does something big, well, he got stopped. So, yeah, I mean, nothing really big happened. At, at least that's how I'm, that's how I view it. Because at least, you know, on, on our end, from what I feel like we're all seeing here, you guys may be viewing it differently. But Brandon Allen's just been the better fighter. That's 10-9, Brandon Allen, round number one. Oh. That was a nice little... Oh! Wow, he just ate that in the mouth. Is he going for submission? No, I think. Uh, never mind. He's just on top. Okay. Oh, he got to his spot. Yeah, Pfeiffer's got to uh, just. He's just got to try, try to cover up. He can't afford to take those shots. His nose. Or his nose. It looks like his nose is busted. Maybe the. The. No, that's definitely the nose. Yeah, his nose is absolutely busted. Yeah, but he's, he doesn't really have. He's got to flatten out. He's got to. If he. F oh, he might be tapping. Yeah, he tapped. He tapped. Brandon Allen's got it done. Brandon Allen victorious here tonight. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen a, a submission on here, honestly, so I'm actually kind of surprised. But what's with all these second round finishes, though? I'm sorry, that's like a recurring theme just today. 
that's a submission victory. Amazing. I mean, like I said, I'm not complaining. Definitely. A win's a win. So, congrats to Brandon Allen. Anyway, but folks, that's his debut. He's a 1-0. He's going to put Joe Pfeiffer to what? 0-2? Yep, 0-2 it is. So, that was the last fight of the of the undercards going to the main card here. Which we kick things off in the featherweight division. Charles Jourdain in the red in the red trunks, who is actually I think 0-1 at the moment. Yep, 0-1 takes on the debuting Ma what? Mob Sar. Ev 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 I don't even know how to say that name. I have no idea. I mean, we've got one hell of a fighter between Jourdain and Evlev. Meanwhile, I've got to update that last fight because. The last fight was wicked. I said it's always great to see submissions kind of come back in the game because, let's be honest, now not many people I feel even use them. Hell, the fighters don't even use them. So it's like, I mean, like in the, oh my God, Evelyn. So the middleweights. Goodness. Oh, he's done. He's done. He is finished. It stopped the fight. It's over. It's over. Holy hell. Jesus Lord. Charles Jordan avenges his loss. He is now 1-1 one one in the UFC. Avalev 0-1. He got, he got mauled. He genuinely... Got mauled? Goodness, God. What a nightmare. So I was making sure I kind of updated everything. But yeah, and, and that fight, clearly, Charles Jordan was out for blood. You ain't doing all that to somebody if you, if you don't have a problem with somebody. That was nuts. Anyway, folks, next up, let's go on to the women's Bantam weight division. You heard it right. So, in the white trunks, it'll be Tasha Hayes. Tasha Hayes, by the way, who is 3-4 and four in the UFC, takes on the 7-8 and eight Juliana Pena. Here we go. Oh, Oh, Julian Pena, she got rocked bad there. Oh, no. Oh, that's Yeah, she did try to go for that takedown. And that really is going to be the key to her success. Tasha Hayes, a, a, a natural striker. If Juliana Pena can get this fight to the ground, she'll be in good in good shape. If not, this fight will probably go Tasha Hayes' way. She does that stiff. Oh wait, no, it was actually Juliana Pena who rocked her. I thought I thought it was the other way around. So she's a fan of those elbows right now. Those elbow strikes are doing her some dividends. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight. Ooh, she got very lucky that that head kick did not land. Juliana Pena. Throwing hands with them. In a, in, in a round that looked like it was going to go Tasha Hayes' way, Juliana Payne has just found some epic momentum here. 
Oh, she caught her in midair. Now she still rocks. She's oh. This is one hell of a round. Under a minute to go. Oh. Wow, she hit her with that. Oh, yeah, they, this is not. She's at the mercy. She's got to be very careful here. Because right now, Tasha Hayes is firing right back at her. And that leg is starting to give way. She's got to be careful. She can't take too many shots. Oh, you heard the leg. You heard the leg. Oh, God. Yeah, but that lead leg of Pena's is essentially damaged. I mean, don't get me wrong. The face of Tasha Hayes has become damaged. But so is Juliana Pena's. This is just a brutal freaking fight. Oh, now the body. But Penny finally gets takedown. This is what she needed. This is exactly what she needed. Nice positional control here. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them. Well, yeah, she she's absolutely crushing them. So that she can chase her submission. But here's the thing. Now that Juliana Pena's her got her here. She has her back. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Pena. Yes. Yeah, I don't believe Tasha Hayes is going to be in a good spot because. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating. Yeah, I mean, she can be as great as she is. That's not the whole point we're trying to make, um, DC. But realistically, what's going to happen here is the simple fact that. This is what I thought was going to happen. She was going to ground and pound her, and Juliana Pena gets the job done here tonight. Seen it coming. As soon as she got taken down, I seen it coming. Juliana Pena is now 8-8 eight and eight in the year, so she puts Tasha Hayes to 3-5. and five. Mm -mm. What a fight. It's nice. My, my computer just restarted and didn't save all the work I was doing during the stream. <sighs> Gotta love technology. That's how I have all my chat stuff in there. So it's kind of like, shoot. Ready to fight. Ready. Do it. Well, this man has been there. He has done that. But if I can find it. <laughs> I don't have my screen up with all the information from the fight card. So, this is going to be a lightweight division fight. The 0-1 Jalen Turner in the red trunks takes on in the green trunks Eddie Alvarez, who is 4 and 7. What a... Jeez Louise. Yeah, but Jalen Turner's got to be careful. He doesn't want her to have a repeat of what happened to him last time. Oh, yeah, it's happening again. Never mind. Hit that. Yeah, it's happening again. Yeah, but here's the thing. What you're watching is just Jalen. Oh, never mind. They're both beating the tar out of each other. 
that these guys are striking with. Oh, he might be finished. Oh. oh, it might be over. I think it's over. How is he still in this thing? Never mind, he's done. Jalen Turner is history. Jalen Turner gets absolutely flatlined by Eddie Alvarez here tonight. Said I cannot blame Eddie Alvarez one hell of a hell one one hell of a uh, of an effort to be honest. Bumper, sorry. I don't know why I was I was trying to figure out because when my word document messes up, it'll auto save to over which documents are what, so I can keep doing the the updating for this fight for the show. But anyway, folks, our next fight is going to be in the light heavyweight division, as it is going to as it's going to be the eight and ten former light heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Rumble Johnson, taking on the zero and three Mohammed Ankalev. Goodness gracious. Yeah, um, that nice jab and stuff, that's great and all. Oh. Trying to wait to see, because like, I feel like at the moment, I, like, you can tell. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting Enclave to be the one, though. Oh. Oh, he's, he might be finished. Is it me or does DC sound slightly? Enclave might be able to pick up his first win here. Like in all seriousness, he's doing a pretty decent job. Oh. And I feel like, and like, go figure, as soon as they say that, guess what happens? Ding ding. Well, here's the thing, these guys do smell blood in the water, and they are kicking, literally kicking, each other's behind. Goodness gracious. Oh, that leg. I heard the snap. Oh, that, yeah, that's not gonna, gonna end well for anybody. They, oh, 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 it's over. Wait, no, he got down? That may have been a mistake. Oh, that is a big mistake on Enclave's part. She, she should've just went for the shots. That was such a big mistake. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, you're going, he, he would have been able to finish him. He genuinely would have been able to finish him if he just went for for the for the for for, for the knockout.
God. I mean, you got to be kidding me with the That is not the number one play on Sports Entertainment. Damn. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts I've seen all year. In a very long time. I mean, oh, God. The, the fact that he, first of all, I think is he had a, he now has a black eye entirely, but the, the Jesus. Crime. So there are just certain things like that when you see, you're, you just. That it, it it is simple in form, but damning, because that was effing and powerful. Next up, folks, it's going to be the welterweight division. That's right, they're on display as Joff Neal makes his debut, as he takes on rank number nine former welterweight champion, the two and two Shavkat Rachmanov. Rachmanov in the yellow trunks, Neal in the blue trunks here. We go after this fight. We'll be heading on to the main event of the evening, which we'll see. Rank number 10, former late heavyweight champion, the 11 and 11, John Jones take on the debuting Sergey Spivak. That is your main event. Just want to put that out there. Anthony Johnson, by the way, Anthony Johnson's at 8 and 11. Mohamed Anklev finally picks up a victory as he is 1 and 3. Wasn't expect I turned away for a second. <laughs> well, Joff Neal, everybody. Um, letting it be known, he's he's a major player. Literally, Joff Neal. Well, he's victorious. He's one and zero. As the, you know, what they say, don't hate the player, hate the game. But Joff Neal gets the job done. He knocks out Shavkat Rachmanov to make him 2-3. and three. That is right, folks. And next up is going to be the main event of the evening. And it's going to be... I feel like the heavyweights lately have been main eventing a lot. But in this like, specific fight card, it is a bit different because of the complexities of this. But anyway, John Jones in the black trunks. Spivak in the yellow trunks. John Jones on a two or three fight losing scale, I believe. He has not won in a very long time. He needs to get it together, or will Spivak take him, or will uh, Sergey Spivak take him down here, just like he did there? A nasty elbow. I mean, there are multiple people saying different things there. Move, hands up, hands up. It's like, all right, you want me to move or have my hands up? Which one? That's just me being a butt. <laughs> oh, oh, Spivak now. <laughs> I said, well, he blocked that punch. I go, I guess it's okay. Yeah, but I doubt Spivak's going to get John Jones out of all people to tap out. I mean, let's be honest now. It's John Jones. You know, if it was somebody else, would be like, oh, okay, he's actually got a really good shot here. But realistically, it's it's John Jones. Like, let's let's be real. Do any of us actually expect John Jones to tap out? I don't think so. Oh, it, oh my God. Oh, my God. John Jones. Stops survey Spivak's hopes 
of shocking the world here tonight with a massive victory of victory well, he desperately one, needed. A massive victory, literally massive victory for John Jones. Jones is now 12 and 11 in the UFC. He puts Sergey Spivak to 0 and 1, and that means we have one final part of this stream. And that's the awards. Let's get to them. And it's taking forever. <laughs> so, performance of the, of the night submission, of course, goes to Brandon Allen. Still, for me, fight of the night is going to go to three different people. You're like, what? That's impossible. There's three fight of the nights here. Johnson, Anklev, Hayes, Pena, and Rodriguez Torres. Performance of the night knockout goes to uh, Umar Nurmagomedov, without a shadow of a doubt. So anyway, folks, have a great one. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the BVTV Gaming channel. I know this was a bit of a rushed episode, as you guys can probably tell, not my usual quality, but I just wanted to make sure I got it out there before I forgot this week. So please do, again, see you all, folks, and subscribe to the BVTV Gaming channel. Stay off the hook. Peace out.